Hi guys. Today I'm gonna walk you through uh, some of the settings I have to do with uh, the NASA in the Sky Hero Spider. And I'm also gonna show you uh, how to use the uh, iPad for adjusting the NASA and uh, the iOS D Mini and the software on the computer for that. Uh, right now I have the uh, beautiful autocopter here now set up and powered on I have the computer here and uh, the screen uh, with the FPV system working uh, first of all I'm going to show you the iOS D mini um, you can see on the screen there there are lots of information uh, concerning uh, things you can uh, uh, want to know about when you're flying around um, Right here you have um, distance and height from the home point. Here's the voltage of the battery. It's the speed. Uh, here are the satellites. Obviously there's no satellites uh, for him to find inside the house. This is a vertical speed or uh, uh, yes, a vertical speed. This shows the uh, home point uh, and this is the horizontal orientation. So uh, if I move it a little bit, you can see that uh, it changes a little bit, but uh, it's a really, really nice setup. First, I'm gonna show you how to make adjustments to the um, to the uh, on-screen inf information. Uh, I have plugged the USB plug in here in the iOS the Mini, and uh, over to the PC I have. Uh, Downloaded the software from uh, DJI. Um, iOS D Assistance. It's the same software that uses uh, that's used with the um, uh, Mark II iOS D uh, Mark II. Really simple, actually. Um, you have to adjust the warning settings when you will see a warning on the screen. <coughs> Uh, for now it's uh, set on uh, 7 satellites, if it sees that or less it will come on a uh, warning. Height range, height range 0 to 130 meters. 130 meters, meters uh, height is the legal length in Norway. So I will get a warning if I go over that. Uh, distance 2 kilometers. Uh, for the places I usually fly, uh, two kilometers is, uh, is uh, yeah, an okay distance to have a warning. Uh, it's not necessary for me to fly longer than that around here. But obviously, later on I'm gonna fly places uh, that will be further away. Um, yeah, it's quite simple actually. Uh, you can adjust where the information on the screen will be placed and uh, I can do it like this. And this moves a little bit in. You can see on the screen. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it moves when I uh, push the button. There you can see it, and I can also uh, take on the right side. I guess it uh, has something to do with the screen you use. Um, I'm preferred. I prefer to have it uh, as long to the sides as I can. Yes, that's the iOS D Mini. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the NASA V2. Uh, obviously, you can uh, you can attach it to the uh, to the PC and uh, do all the adjustments there. But I have the Bluetooth mod module, which makes it possible for me to use the uh, uh, iPad. Uh, really simple actually. I just uh, go in the um, Okay, I was here a couple of hours ago and it has not uh, been switched off so I just switch it off I'm Back in here Turn it on and then it will scan hopefully. Yes And it's really simple. Um, initially, I had to put up a password for it, so but I don't have to. Uh, 
don't have to write the password every time it's uh, one time for for all I guess okay now we're in the uh, <coughs> iPad uh, app and it's uh, quite similar to what you are used to see on the PC it's uh, it's uh, the first picture is uh, the first uh, side is about the general information about things and uh, what the pitch is and uh, GPS location mixer type yeah you know this you can go further to the basic page this is uh, where you make the adjustments obviously this is an octocopter uh, I have mounted the GPS uh, right above the uh, the flight controller. Um, this is the uh, stick calibration and the uh, receiver type and everything. Um, yeah, and then uh, when you set the fail safe and when you adjust the control mode switch and everything you can just sit there and, uh, and see it on the iPad uh, live as I, uh, I adjust things uh, yeah. gain of course you need to adjust gains uh, all, all multicopters needs to have the gains uh, uh, good adjust, uh, make good adjustments to the game, and uh, in my experience, it's like a, it's really nice to good uh, to uh, to be able to change this in the field, because this is uh, very. Um, it depends really on the wind and the weather and uh, and what batteries you're using and everything. So fine tuning, especially the pitch and roll is very very good for the flight experience tools this is the calibration uh, it's not something that you need to do uh, at least not often and you just have to check that uh, use the user manual and uh, and uh, read about what these values should be and you will see if you are within the a range you should be. In the advanced uh, tab you find the um, uh, fail safe adjustment uh, intelligent orientation control gimbal adjustment limits voltage um, I have to say I don't. I really don't like this uh, voltage protection from NASA, DJ, DJI NASA, on the DJI NASA. Uh, for me, it, uh, it's not possible to adjust the way I want it, and uh, it cuts off too too early. And uh, yeah, so um, I cannot use uh, telemetry now with the Dragon Link. Uh, but uh, on my other model, I use uh, I switch this off and and use the telemetry voltage monitoring. Yeah, <clears throat> that's it. Very simple, very nice, and uh, absolutely uh, no problems at all using this and setting it up it was very easy. <clears throat>